Today I'm going to take a look at uh, this uh, Samsung Story external drive. It is uh, faulty, it's a one and a half terabyte drive and it does nothing when you try to turn it on. Uh, when you uh, apply power to it, it should uh, light a white LED here, which does not uh, do anything. So the first uh, thing to check on uh, this case is uh, uh, to see if it receives power from uh, its adapter. For that I'm going to use a multimeter. The power supply is uh, 12 volts, so I'm in a 20 volts range. Connect one in the center and the other one on the side of the jack, so we get a perfect 12 volts, so the power source is ok. It means that uh, we have a problem with the drive itself. Uh, being an external drive, it's a combination of a normal computer hard drive and an enclosure. So the fault can be from the hard drive itself or the enclosure. Because uh, we get no uh, power, my assumption is that the case is faulty, the enclosure, not the drive. I'm gonna open it up. It's very easy to open it up. It has four screws on the sides of the case. Okay. And now the cover should come off. And it has, okay. The drive is here. It's a nor normal uh, hard drive and it's kept in place by this plastic side and it has some warranty seals here and here I'm gonna break them okay. to open it it has a clip here, here and here so if you press and pull back like this it becomes separated it's the same on the other side This is out and let's see the drive it's held in place just it's just pressed in here so it comes out with its electronics I'm gonna take this off also remove the insulators Let's take the electronic port out. And board it out. This is removed. Now I'm going to test to, to see if the drive is faulty or not. I'm going to use a, a hard disk uh, rack. The drive will not uh, enter uh, this because of uh, its uh, mounting hardware, so I need to remove this also. There goes one and the other one. I see. And now it fits in. I'm gonna connect the rack to my laptop and I'm going to power it on. And you can see and here the hard drive is spinning and it's reading.
and it has already been detected on the PC. As you can see, the drive was uh, detected and uh, its name and that it contains file has already been uh, shown here. So as I said in the beginning, it seems to be a problem with the enclosure itself. So I'm going to take a look at that. First uh, thing to check on uh, the enclosure, it's the electronics board. Uh, visually, you cannot observe much, but a good practice is to check first the DC jack as uh, this is a breaking point for most electronics nowadays. So I'm going to peel off a bit the protected layer from uh, underneath and I'm going to use my multimeter again. I'm going to select resistance this time. So when I make a short circuit it should tell zero which means continuity. So first I'm going to see if the middle jack, the middle uh, part of the jack corresponds to this part of the jack. You can see here, this part here, it's where the middle of the jack comes out. I don't know if you can see it here. And this goes through the board on the back. So this jack, middle pin communicates with this tab on its back and goes to here so I must have continuity between this here and this here so I'm gonna do a measurement And we have perfect continuity, as you can see. And now I'm going to check the side of the jack. The side it's easier to check. You see inside it has a small tab in here, metal tab on the side of the middle pin. This one corresponds to all the casing and all the remaining pins. So it, I'm going to select this chassis pin here inside and you can see it also has continuity so the jack itself it's okay the mini usb plugs plug seems to be okay it's not uh, uh, removed from the board so it's not a problem the next thing to check will be this uh, cable because where you have connections uh, there may be problems and let's see oh look here if I move it, it moves from the board. Probably it's not inserted properly. It would be too easy. And yes, it goes in and does not move. So it seems that the plug was not fitted correctly here. Or maybe I just moved it when I took the drive out. Okay, I'm confident that this was a problem, so I'm going to put it back together. At least we know that the drive is uh, okay, it's operating properly, so if the enclosure proves to be faulty, then I can uh, swap the drive to an empty enclosure which you can buy separately from another brand so that was installed now I'm going to plug this in this is plugged in properly this one is checked in here so I'm going to put it back but first I need to install these uh, screws Also make a test with it disassembled at least I will not wait that long to see if that was a problem or not 
so I'm just going to let it sit like this no metal parts touching I'm gonna plug in the power and why not the USB port just to be sure and plug it into the PC also and let's see well what do you know we have white light here and the drive has started to work so it seems that the problem was this cable which was not making contact properly from this button you can also adjust the intensity of the light another gimmick so it was detected on the PC it's working so now I got to assemble it back together I'm gonna turn it off I'm gonna unplug the cables from it I'm going to install the insulators insulators are installed now I'm gonna put it back together it's properly installed now the frame that holds it in place just be sure to have all the clips properly secured to hold it in place and now we put the metal cap back and put the screws on just take my other key After this I'm going to test it again, maybe it was just good luck, but I doubt it. Let's do another test. I'm gonna plug connectors back and the power check. And let's turn it back on and it works. You can see the light here and you are going to hear it off. There it goes. So it's fixed, very simple. It was just a plug that was not connected properly from factory. Bye bye.